Hey there, I'm Juniper C, and welcome back to the Riftbreaker series. In this episode, we are at the area in the Essex Plains where we want to discover. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it looked kind of deadly. Oh, this is where we find the palladium. What's this? The geoscanner detected a hidden cache of explosive fluid underground. This functionality is normally used for detecting minefields. Oh, there are exploding mushrooms underground. This must be the reason why the acidic yeast colonies are not present in this area. Let's be careful here. Okay, so on occasion it looks like we're going to discover explosives underground. And that's gonna be something we deal with, I guess. Oop. Let's clear out these guys. So yeah, we're gonna get our Palladium Ore samples. The weather's changing. Wind is slowing down. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for oh. construction. Wind has stopped. Woo. This will affect wind turbine power generation. Oh, where's this big boy? Can I scan you? No. Look at this guy. He's an ugly guy. <laughs> big ol' gross. Alright, so... Is there a point to, like, pick these things up? Ooh! Taking a little bit of damage. The wind is coming back. Wind power is returning to normal. Ashley, I have located a large underground palladium deposit. I have marked its location on our map. Great. The ones we've been finding so far were really small. Maybe we can find something that we can place an automated mining station on. That would be nice. attack. Just another normal deposit. Where's the thing on the map? That, uh. Well, I guess that's just what we got. Located in the marked area. I mean, I'm here, but there's no deposit that came up out the ground. Alright, 
so we're gonna get something. Ironium for it. Also not what we want. Huh? Oh, big damage. We are gonna hang way back for a minute. thing. Does it like want me to... Yeah, I don't understand. It seems to be bugged or something. Oh, there is a blue one of these. The blue one's kind of pretty. Warning. Holy I'm mushrooms! An imminent acid eruption. Ashley, prepare yourself. Multiple fissures are opening up and are erupting with highly corrosive gas. We won't be able to build anything within these clouds. Hey, there we go. Got a little bit more. I wish we could actually get the thing to work at that marked area, but it seems like it's bugged, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Alright, so I'll get some extra tech while we're here. Fantastic. Golden statue. I like that they have a couple items for, uh, you know, just to have it be, it 
you want your base to be pretty or what have you. Platinum, please. Yay. And I was looking back at the episode when we did this with the uranium. We ended up at 499 out of 500. And there was a brief moment where I missed a single pickup. So we're going to try to collect everything that we can this time so that we don't have to spend too, too long doing this. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. Oh God. A fog is forming up. It's hard to see anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. Please, Palladium, I shall receive. Sleeping? And they're just not mean unless you're mean to them. Can I scan them? Hmm. I don't know. They're just nice dudes, I guess. It's kind of interesting. two more deposits and we'll be good to go. Oh jeez. Everything went wrong there.
Okay, it has to be in the... Oh, I guess I'm not taking damage here. I'm definitely standing the in this acid bowl. The deposits that we've been finding here are too small to build a mining station. Nice. However, we've learned how to find it. The de Research completed. Boom, boom. Palladium handling. Give me that, please. Data gathered with the geoscanner can be fed to the orbital scanner <clears throat> to search for mineable palladium. Our mission here is complete. We can return to headquarters to start preparing to build a palladium mining outpost. Understood, Ashley. I'm starting the orbital scanning procedure and searching for mineable palladium deposits. In the meantime, we should research palladium handling technology to be able to actually construct palladium mining stations. <laughs> Get some samples while we can. Beautiful. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the headquarters. Um uh, probably cry when we get there. Cause I'm assuming that we're gonna be low on all resources. <laughs> Ought to be great. We'll find out. <laughs> And the base is, it needs a little bit of TLC, but we'll get that set up. No problem. All right. Home sweet home. Carbonium deposit depleted. Iron deposit depleted. Carbonium storage is full. We should Orbital scanning still. finished. We have calculated a favorable location for palladium mining outpost. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies in this area. That's good. Maybe there will be fewer exploding mushrooms in that area. Either way, we should remember to use the geoscanner frequently. Warning! A hostile group of creatures is heading towards our base. Um, Prepare for an incoming force. Iron deposit depleted. So we're gonna get hit from the north and northwest. Uh, not gonna lie, this is gonna suck. This is gonna actually suck. Okay, first things first. Defenses, big time. We have plenty of power generation. I don't know where my nearest radar is, but now Iron one's gonna be depleted. right there. Heavy artillery requires palladium. This also requires palladium. Uh, but I will throw down two of these because they're kind of cheap. See flamers. Iron deposit depleted. And then... All right, so that's kind of defensible. Iron deposit depleted. Yeah, Danger! Both the enemy swarm is approaching our base. Brace for combat. Yes. Thank you for your mighty concern, Mr. Riggs. Iron deposit depleted. Base is under attack. One 
one of our buildings was being destroyed. Hello, friends. An energy connector has been destroyed. Energy connectors has been destroyed. Ow. Alright, well that section taken care of. Uh that's taken care of. Base is under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Oh ho, 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 the swarm. The swarm is here. Alright, kill the little Zerglings. Uh oh, wrong place to be. <laughs> wrong place to teleport to. There is a breach in our walls. Yeah, I kind of see that, Mr. Eggs. A building has been destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our walls has been destroyed. Alright, I think we're just about done with all that. expand storage before we can pick that up but we also need to build a whole lot of crap we have these three geothermal fences i'm detecting intense seismic activity a strong earthquake is coming mr riggs can you tell the world that i just need a break at the main base please please uh what do we got over here the earthquake's epicenter is near our position it will deal serious <laughs> damage to all our buildings in that area. As if a new technology it couldn't developed. get any worse. These blueprints are available for crafting. I don't even want to know how terrible that's going to be for me. Excuse you. Excuse all of you. Wait, what's attacking? What is this? Where did these come from? I was just here. There's no issues. Base is under attack. Oh goodness! This game does not let up. All right, let's go see what's damaged. Everything. Earthquake is over. The tremors are getting weaker and weaker. We should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. Should we? You think? You think? 
Oh, goodness. Alright, at the headquarters here, we really just need a break. We need a Kevin Malone, it just feels nice to win one kind of moment. I mean, this was huge. And it's not like you can have repair towers down all over the place for all this crap. I mean, I guess you could, but... Alright, this stuff doesn't really matter. Also, these are all... Out. Is that one out? Oh, I think, I think it's fine. Oh, lordy! I wish there was like an AoE heal that you could unlock for your structures like this. A new technology or like has drones that you could get new blueprints that are fly around crafting. you um, and repair buildings around you. That would be fantastic because this is kind of tedious. But it could have been worse. All this stuff could have been destroyed, and I could have had to deal with a whole lot more than just doing some little repairs. Also, this is our nuclear power plant, by the way. Um, which gives us some big boy energy. As we go through and just keep on repairing, oh my lord. Health bars everywhere. And then all of our uh, carbonium, we're really getting from the, the deposits in the uranium area. Right, those ones are taken care of. Just throw that down to finish that up. Little geothermal thing there. Uh, what else can we do? Over here there's three deposits. So let's throw these down and just finish those up. Let's throw this down while I'm clearing this out. Those uh, little lag spikes when the loading screen comes up is kind of a lot. Excuse me. Uranium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. It's actually good that uranium storage is full. Because we're going to build another nuclear power plant. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Actually, you know what? I think we'll just get that going right now. That'll give us a great reason to put up defenses in this location. Is there anything to scan that we need to scan? Steel 
storage is full. Let's... Build more storage facilities. Really quickly. Just do a quick. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. We have power shortages. Connect more power plants. We definitely don't. gonna call it pretty soon here. Warning! My radar is tracking a meteor swarm. Its flight trajectory ends very close to our location. Prepare for bombardment. I'm just gonna stand away from my base while that's happening. We'll see where the meteor swarm actually hits. These rocks can do some serious damage. Evasive maneuvers, Mr. Riggs. Technologies for development. I'm not tracking any more meteors. The danger is over. Alright, so we're gonna end things off there for this uh this episode. And in between we're gonna get some things set up for the base. We'll get some more power generation and um, make sure that all of our storages and resource generation is uh, ready to go. Then I think it's going to be time to set up the Palladium Outpost after we upgrade our headquarters in the next episode. So, hope everyone is doing well, life is treating you well, and we will see you very soon. Appreciate you being here. Bye!